Salem's Dark Legacy, Unveiling the Truth Behind the Witch Trials. Welcome to Historic Wonders, where today we delve into the grim history of Salem, Massachusetts. Known for the infamous Salem Witch Trials of 1692, this story is a harrowing tale of fear, superstition, and a justice system gone awry. Join us as we unravel the truth behind one of the most notorious chapters in early American history. Our journey begins with a seemingly innocent game by young girls, including Abigail Williams and Betty Paris. They're dabbling in folk practices, using a Venus glass and an egg to predict their futures, unknowingly ignited a fire of hysteria that would consume the town. 1692 marked the onset of the Salem Witch Trials. Fueled by fear and superstition, this dark period saw the tragic execution of 19 innocent people, condemned as witches. Among them was Giles Corey, who faced an agonizing death by pressing, steadfast in his refusal to plead. The case of Dorothy Talby, a mentally ill woman hanged for the murder of her daughter, highlights the era's lack of distinction between insanity and criminal behavior. It's a stark reminder of the rudimentary understanding of mental health in the 17th century. Two figures stand out in Salem's history, William Hathorne, an influential early settler, and his son, Judge John Hathorne. While William led troops and served as a magistrate, it was John who etched a name in history as the Hanging Judge, his harsh sentences during the witch trials earning him notoriety. The Salem Witch Trials remain a poignant reminder of the dangerous interplay of superstition, fear, and unchecked authority. As we reflect on this chapter of history, it emerges not only as a cautionary tale about the critical need for rationality, empathy, and justice in our society, but also as an integral part of our historic wonders, reminding us of the profound lessons history can teach.